Hello and welcome to the range. Only appropriate way to introduce today's handgun would be with very famous quote from Dirty Harry, a classic from 1971 starring Clint Eastwood, which I won't do right now. Of course I'm talking about 44 Magnum, in Call of the Wilds context, 44 Panther Magnum to be precise. It's the second handgun unlocked in the game, requiring 1235 handgun score and with a cost of 24,000 in-game currency. 44 Magnum covers classes 3 to 8, which allows you to take down everything from roe deer to moose and elk. Here we can see the stats for the revolver, and they stand at accuracy 33, recoil 82, reload 10, heap shot 95, magazine is 6 rounds. Like our previous handgun, it comes with two distinctly familiar ammo types, flat nose hard cast and jacketed hollow point bullets. Flat noses offer significantly higher penetration, and as usual, hollow points come with high expansion but low penetration. In this part of the series, I'm showing weapons behavior with 5 round groups. In this episode, I'm shooting 4 groups from 20 meters, 50 meters, and 70 meters. I will also display bullet drop at 100 meters. As stated in previous video, I will utilize Parque Fernandez range for convenient target ranges. I will use the following rules to every video depicting comparable weapons. I will use the highest magnification scope available for maximum precision, only 0 at 50 meters since that is the default zeroing range, only aiming dead center, no matter the range, no compensation. Starting with 20 meters. That is 5 shots from 20 meters. Bullets are landing tiny bit high. Switching the targets to 50 meters. That is 5 rounds from 50 meters. Landing where they should be. Bullseye. Switching targets to 70 meters. That is 5 rounds from 70 meters. We are starting to see a small bullet drop, but bullets are still barely in the bullseye. And then I will perform 5 shots at 100 meters. And that is 5 rounds from 100 meters. Bullet drop is really starting to show. Bullets are landing between rings 7 and 8. When it comes to actually using the 44 Magnum, it offers a quite compelling range of animals it can take down. However, a weapon being a handgun, it has quite limited range. As long as you're using it within 100 meters, it offers enough penetration for at least single lung shots on red deers. Beyond 100 meters, the bullet drop increases rapidly and becomes very hard to estimate. Ballistics should be possible to memorize if you desire to use it over extended ranges. I would also like to note that when shooting at class 8 animals, in this case moose, even a hard shot does not drop them on the spot. They bleed out extremely quickly, but you really want to get in closer, as these examples are frontal shots from about 60 meters, and penetration isn't distinctly passing through hard, but barely. So if you're going to take a hard shot from a bit further away, and after your first shot the animal still stands, you need to ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? That would have been a way too nice line to end the video in, right? I just needed to point out that we have a case of slightly misaligned iron sights. Bullets are landing tiny bit to the right, but not in a concerning amount. Thanks for watching.